Bucks in action, match at 70 kilograms. And TF MMA in the red corner. It's Pedro Barreto. Sean Harris from the Raptors gym in the blue corner. Blue gloves. Black shorts with red trim. taller than his opponent here. There's the right hand and that's that distance cover up. Nice patient build up. Actually looks quite good this kid. I wouldn't pull the show boating on too early. I think he's definitely got confidence with range very early in this fight. He's just half a metre out of range at the moment. Gloves whips between their punches at the moment. Now he tries to work in low to try and get over the top. A good movement backwards from Harris. That right hand's accurate from Harris. He does need to be aware of that, Barreto. First the commentator, he throws two good left hands as well. He's got two hands and throws the bomb though over the top Barreto. He's not just going to let him dictate the pace of this fight. And he does need to spoil the game plan of Harris now, start to get amongst him. He nods because it hurt and that is the truth of it. Most of the times when a fighter nods at you after a shot, it means it hurt. That's two huge left hooks to the body. And Barreto's worn them really, really well. I'm sure his face doesn't tell the true story of how they felt. It's a good poker plan from Pedro Barreto. And he's still swinging. It's a good opening round for Sean Harris and the Raptors gym in the blue corner. And Barreto needs to just change it up a little bit this round. Second of three. After a good round from the rangy fighter too. A lot of taller fighters, it's, it's good to have that range, but not all fighters know how to use it, and that is the difference. And I'll tell you what, Sean Harris has used his range very, very well in that first round. Loretto strong, and he's game, and he's going to try and get under there and get that shot over the top. I don't know if he's working out that Harris goes back in a straight line when he comes down low. Whether he can just chase him forward. He seems to come back himself as well at the moment. A good tidy punch there. Oh, big right hand as well. I like this kid. Very, very impressive. Starting to showboat early. He's confident, but I don't think it's time for that just yet. What he's doing, he's doing very, very well. opportunity as well as Harris but when he throws that bomb and misses uh, Barreto that's his opportunity to hit the spot you know he's given up on the body that he did earlier which had people grimacing around the ring he's pinning into his guard there what about this one Shows him his face, he can just draw the shot at the edge of the club there. He needs to use that jab more, he's all hooks and punches, just he needs the bread and butter shots as well. Good hook and pivots to the left. Now he does find the body again. And a much better round for me from uh, Barreto, but still Sean Harris. 
utilizing, utilizing that high advantage, doing well here. That was a better round from the red corner, just showing that he is still in this fight and wants to go, but finds himself two rounds down on the uh, commentator scorecard, which of course counts for nothing. Well, he slaps the hands of his corner team, does uh, Barreto. So Pedro Barreto comes out, knowing he's got an uphill struggle here, and he does need a very, very big round for me. Sean Harris looks tidy, I think. Steps well to the left, and I see him move to the right as well after he throws that, and that would open up his right hand a lot more. Of course, moving to the left, just nine times out of ten opens up your left more. Now he's just starting to jab, just stick him and move off of that. Which is good game time actually in a third round when you're up in a fight. And that's better timing. And Barreto is now forced to chase and throw bombs. Harris has handled that very, very well here for me and impressed me. And impressed this crowd here as well in the uh, Cockpool Millennium Suite. This venue has seen some fights over the years. It really, really has. Fantastic venue. A lot of history. And that is the stage these two kids find themselves on. Sean Harris from the Raptors will take this one home, I think. He's quiet down a little bit in the end of this round. He's not hungry to put his opponent away. I think he knows he's up a little bit and he just wants that ring time now. That's a well-timed jab and that's going to get him through this fight to the end. There's the body again. Barreto, natural fighter and in there to the end and Harris lands a good right hand and goes down to the body and the head and he's going to get a standing eight count right at the end he's unlucky for that I think to be honest um, Pedro Barreto he'd rather get on and get the action going he, he did get stuck and moved but that is it that'll go down as a good one for uh, Sean Harris both fighters impressed me actually but a little bit about Sean Harris. Sorry, sorry.